1,000 point scores, four upperclassmen in the starting lineup. Of course, that all adds up to a 13 0 mark to start the season. Yeah, in this day and age of college basketball, nobody is undefeated around Christmas. It just, it's so hard to do. And they play who they can play. Again, I, I can't emphasize it more uh, or enough, rather. It's, it's, a, it's a task for Liberty to schedule because nobody wants to play them. Uh, they play the games they can, they can actually schedule, and that's it. And it's done 13 and 0, of course. Their big task will come in just a bit. Actually, next Sunday, as they'll take on LSU, so another SEC team that took one down in Vanderbilt. Yeah, I wouldn't bet against them. And uh, they're just strong enough mentally and unflappable. I mean, in, in even the craziest of environments, it's not going to bother these guys at all. They seem to seem to embrace that. And speaking of crazy environments, you know, Liberty would love as the A-Sun tournament is a home site tournament. We'd love to get that in their place, especially with so many teams south of them having to travel north. Yeah, that's an enormous advantage, no question about it. I mean, not, not only do they have excellent players and a good coach, I mean, to think that you could have your conference tournament final on your own court, it's a great way for seniors to go out as well. Yep. So here we go, second half, as Liberty will start with the ball, leading by four. Again, Holmesley, James, your leading scorers for the Flames. Williams leading Akron with 12 points. Really, he and Jackson. Jackson's got eight. Kind of drove the bus for the zips. Here's James down low against React. Ends up finding a way to get it through him. And React back on the floor to try and do something with James because nobody else can seem to have a handle on him. But it's an easy bucket for James again. James takes the taller guys, bangs them around a bit. React almost throws it away, ends up getting tipped by McGee. So Flames with the six point lead. 34 to 28. Williams open look. Can't knock it down. There's Scotty James at the board. You know, that's his game, Williams. But it looks like they're they're living and dying with that. You know, uh, it's just Liberty wants you, I think, really wants Akron to play that game. Shoot a three on the catch on an out-of-bounds play. Wormsley at the top. Backdoor cut, Cuffy wide open, able to put it away. The Princeton element to this offense. Great back cut. Lefty to lefty. And all of a sudden, it's an eight point game, and an eight point lead for Liberty feels like an awful lot more. Cheese fouled on the way in as Liberty gives one up. That's got to be on McGee on the reach, I believe. Oh, check that, it's on Cuffy. Cuffey picks up his second. Banks spent most of his time yesterday out by the three-point line, but doing a lot more driving today. Well, they've chased him off the line. Cheese for three, no good. And again, it's Liberty, gets the rebound, walks it up. They are forcing Akron into the shots that Liberty wants them to take. Nothing inside, nothing easy. Holmesley tried to get a little too fancy with James, ends up at a turnover. React wide open for the flush. That's the easy one. That's, you know, that's running a little offense, keeping your head up, making an extra pass. Good play by Cheese. You see when Liberty left their game plan, Holmesley got a little too flashy, thought he was just going to take it up. Instead, leads to a run out for Akron. It could have been a 10-point margin instead, back down to six. James tries to go through React, can't do it. The big man able to neutralize James on that one. All the way goes Cheese, layup does not fall. It looked like he had was held going up. Good swing there, could have made it a four-point game. Let's see if Liberty will make it hurt. McGee, hook shot, doesn't fall. James with the tap, 
And Banks takes it the other way. Old time hook shot there by McGee. Now Banks, 4-3, that's off the mark, and McGee able to grab it. Again, at Liberty pace, yeah. get the rebound, walk it up. Let's walk it up. <laughs> take our time, everybody take a deep breath. Check Ortiz, McGee, corner three, pure. I love the play. It was simply let's set screens from McGee and get him open. And timeout by John Gross as Liberty leads at 39 to 30. 16.33 left to go in our second half. Which turns into an official. 